You're running through the jungle. A tiger is in hot pursuit. Your blood pressure and heart rate increase. More blood is being pumped to your muscles, fueling you to run faster. After all, your survival depends on it. These physiological changes, known as the fight or flight response, evolved to help you escape dangers like tigers in your environment. But once you've escaped, you can relax. The stress is over. Now, imagine a modern day situation. You have a demanding boss. Your phone is constantly ringing and your inbox is overflowing, but you cannot escape these sources of stress like you did the tiger. This is the experience of chronic stress, and it has a negative effect on your health, in particular, your immune system, making you more likely to catch a cold, develop a serious chronic illness like irritable bowel disease, or a mental illness like depression. For example, think of a time when you had an important deadline looming and everything was going wrong. You probably fell ill after this period, right? Because stress affects your immune system. And 93% of you, Australian adults, are feeling stressed in at least one important area of your life. So what are we to do? Well, interestingly, alongside this stress epidemic, you're hearing increasingly more about the practice of yoga. You might have even heard that yoga is good for stress reduction. This is where my research comes in. I am examining the effects of a regular yoga practice on a group of over 100 chronically stressed women. Previous research has focused on simply asking people how they feel before and after they practice yoga. What's really exciting about my research is that I'm measuring molecules in the women's blood that reflect how well their immune systems are functioning so I can objectively measure how stressed their bodies are. Half of these women began a regular yoga practice, and half were asked not to do any yoga, as they formed the control group. After a period of two months, the blood measures from both groups were taken again to see if there were any changes. My data so far indicate that practicing yoga benefited the immune system's function, as well as positively affecting how the women felt. So while you may never escape the demanding boss, like you did the tiger, the negative effects of stress may be controlled through a regular yoga practice. What does this mean for you? Well, doctors may one day prescribe you a remedy for your stress-related ails that doesn't come in a bottle, but comes on a mat. Namaste. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Do we have a question for Caitlin? Greg. Thank you very much, Caitlin. Um, just wanted to ask whether, um, where you think your, your research will go, what practical applications you'll have, and whether mm. you know, Australian society would adopt this sort of thinking. Um, well, we're a very biomedically based society, so I think we like to have evidence that's quite tangible. So if people know that there is going to be a physiological change, through practicing yoga, that might motivate them, but also with regards to health policies um, and different funding bodies directing their monies um, in avenues that are going to be more efficacious for a broader population. I think it would be nice to have more funding behind practices like yoga or other avenues if people want to, I don't know, invest a little bit of time into benefiting their health, and that will have long-term consequences. Thank you, Caitlin.